again. So why y'all ain't tell me Orion with her raggedy rainbow elite fashions <laughs> was out here in these streets with Martell Hope for homecoming. It's going down in Huntsville. If you in Huntsville, let me know because we're gonna talk about Orion and Martell on this Sunday. I heard y'all been saying the Scots out here on some scamming fraudulent shit, kind of like the Espo <laughs> with this whole black nick. Y'all got drama with that. Stormy out here promoting her uh that perfume that y'all ain't never smelt before. Y'all gotta tell me if y'all bought it, yada yada yada. And we're gonna go over what's gonna happen when the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville <laughs> drop. So happy Sunday, friend. Watch me before you go to brunch so we can snickle and giggle, bitch. Exactly. Get your Let's get it poppin'. Welcome back. Exactly. So y'all see it's given by Biana. <laughs> Shout out to y'all friends who told me to try the Bob. This is my first time ever having a Bob. I posted a picture of me uh Friday when I was out on my little shorts or whatever. Some folks were saying they liked it. Other people were saying it was long. It was giving classy base. Shout out to Funky. <laughs> I like it for now, but I think I'm going to go back long before my birthday. But in the interim, I, you know, it's a little sassy. It's a little sassy, a little classy. Exactly. Fuck me, though. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. Get your, little, get your little sip. I'm finna go to brunch. I might change my shirt, but I'm finna go to brunch. Because <laughs> I ain't do shit yesterday. I went out Friday, as y'all can see. Wait till the end of the video. I'm going to tell y'all what happened on Friday and why I had to leave and why my friend mad at me because I got up and left. Why do people get mad because you get up and leave? If I tell you I'm going to end up having to argue with your ass and I'm still leaving, you just going to be mad. Girl, anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville, though. <laughs> Come close, bitch. <laughs> so, girl, Martell, just last week, you was skedaddling down to the courthouse, stressing my good sis mail out. Meanwhile, you popping out with this ragamuffin ragdoll ass bitch, <laughs> looking like you in a happy relationship. You couldn't be that happy if you still concerned about the security guard at mail house. You must be laying in the bed smiling with Orion stalking mail. And she looked happy as ever with her swoop girl. The part started over here. The, the part started over here. Swoop queen, clean across her girl. If my friend came over with that swoop before we was getting ready to go out, I'd end up ripping your damn eyelashes off. Like, girl, get your shit together. Start over. <laughs> Start over. Girl, but you couldn't tell Orion nothing. She was happy. Some people were saying that Martell looked like he was faking it. Hold on, y'all. I'm hot. I told y'all when I be at home and get in front of these infrared lights. <laughs> Maybe I should have put my makeup on after I did this video. Hold on, y'all. Maybe let me get okay. This is a little ghetto, but it's Sunday. Pretend like I'm one of the ladies in the church. Pass me the fan and the tambourine. I used to be in the church with the fan and the tambourine, child. Cause I could <laughs> I could play the tambourine like a motherfucker. Anyway, girl. So a lot of people were saying Martel didn't really look happy. Da 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 da. I mean, Martel is he a narcissist? You can never tell when he's really happy or nothing like that. Y'all, y'all was tired of me playing in my hair at first. <laughs> anyway, so tell me what y'all thought about the picture. Do y'all think Martell looked happy? Do y'all think he just did that to get under Melody's skin? I don't think Melody give a damn about this nigga. And Ariane was so happy to do that. But guess what? I noticed she posted on her story. It was her and her daughter. And then she posted the picture with Martell, you know, and her with the uh, bird's nest on her head. Y'all remember. But Martell ain't post a damn thing. He ain't post you, bitch. I'm sorry. If I ever post a man and he don't tag me or he don't repost it and be like, this my chocolate plus size drop. 
I'm going to delete that shit and I'm going to delete it off the internet forever, child. I'm going to get an IT professional to delete this from existence because you're not going to have me out here looking crazy. Girl, coleslaw, after five or six years, if this man ain't even posting you on his Instagram, <laughs> I ain't never been a dumb bitch like that. I'm sorry. We didn't all been a little dumb from time to time, but never say never, never ho. I have never, ever been a dumb bitch like that in my life i'm sorry i'm scared to even post a dude because i'm i got ptsd about him embarrassing me <laughs> like, no i can't do it anyway speaking of male child male returned to instagram you know she ain't been on instagram in like two weeks something like that right right since her tiktok live and i'm assuming she just didn't want to deal with the addressing martel shit the backlash the hate from stormy um, you know like sometimes you need to give it a rest i hope uh sunny takes note and gives social media a rest too anyway mel is uh she was talking about how she's going through spiritual warfare um she's fasting october the 14th so i'm thinking it starts tonight at 12 and goes on to tomorrow so a lot of y'all off to work tomorrow i wish i was off christopher columbus columbus day are y'all off for Columbus Day? Girl, we ain't off for Columbus Day, but I ain't gonna lie. If they would have gave us Columbus Day off and they didn't give us Juneteenth off, it would have been trouble, trouble. <laughs> it would have been some drama. I, I wouldn't have did nothing for the next few days. Anyway, so tell me if y'all off tomorrow. Um, and tell me if y'all go fast with Mel. Uh, she's like I said, she's doing her little 24-hour um fast. Have y'all fast? Do y'all believe in fasting? I was thinking about doing a 30 day cleanse right before my birthday or at the end of the year. I don't know. Tell me, um, I grew up in a church, but I'm not, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not necessarily the most spiritual young lady. So tell me what y'all thoughts and opinions are about fasting, doing cleanses. Do they really work? Do they work for you? And tell me if you go participate in meal, uh, cleanse cleanse that start or fast that starts at midnight anyway child so in other news let's talk about homecoming <laughs> let's continue talking about homecoming so first uh donatello michelangelo uh whatever we go call martel and his rugrats dad popped out we know that uh letitia and marceau they all over the homecoming shit they her and the, uh the brother the other scott They've been talking about homecoming, this black thing. Marceau went live with Luke the other day. I seen a whole bunch of y'all dragging him, talking about Luke wasn't fucking with it. Luke didn't even know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> I told y'all, I ain't even gonna front. Y'all know I don't even fuck with the teabaggers like that or the Scottalites. And Maurice is my arch nemesis. <laughs> Maurice is my arch nemesis. I just think he the worst of them all. However, come on, say, if I was down there, I'd go because <laughs> I love uh, Uncle Luke. Fuck Marcel. Exactly. Fuck Tisha. I would still go. So, uh, so a lot of y'all were saying this was just the little tea that was in the streets. And then somebody DM'd me the comments that was talking about the Black Nick event. Y'all know Marceau and Tisha been promoting it heavily. Remember when uh when she was bent over that car like that in that promo? Girl, your daughter's go see you bent over in that car, but I guess. <laughs> anyway, so they basically were saying that it's not Marceau and Tisha's event. It's not Marceau and Tisha event. They was fronting and scamming. So apparently there's a day party on Sunday, which is today, from 2 to 10. One of the alumni commented on the post and said that Marceau is capity cap cap cap. <laughs> For my classy girl, that means he lying. He a lying ass bald head motherfucker. That's what they said. That's what they. That's what they said. They even reported it on the news. Like Marceau is a lying ass bald head motherfucker, and his wife that can't talk and shit. That ain't our shit. So anyway, the alumni lady said. It don't cost to get into the event. She said it's a free event. So she was basically trying to say Marceau is capped and he full of shit because they're charging. So the black tickets, remember I told y'all when they first came out, it's $50 for general admission. 
And then they had a whole bunch of VIP sections that range from like $700 up to $2,000. So a lot of people were saying Marceau is charging these people to go to an event that's already free. You know, it's not his event. It's going to be outside. Da, 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 da. So this is my take on this. Make sure I subscribe and like this video before I tell y'all how I feel because a lot of y'all might curse me out. Remember, it's a Sunday and Scorpio season coming up. <laughs> so, anyway, listen. So this is what I found out, y'all. The lady in the comments was correct. They are having a day party on the, the homecoming on the hill. They are having a day party where the alumni does host it. They sell spots to vendors, people outside having a day party, partying outside, barbecuing, music, drinks, all of the things. Pussy popping on a handstand. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for brunch and have a blast. Anyway, so people going to be pussy popping on a handstand in Huntsville today. As this video is dropping, it's the girl probably tipsy with her mimosa getting ready to pop it in front of the barbecue stand waiting on her bratwurst or her rib sandwich. It is what it is. I wish I was there. <laughs> As a matter, I might go to somebody. I don't even go to my own homecoming, but still. So they do have that. However, <laughs> Martsonium are having a party in the same vicinity, but separately at this club called the Camp Restaurant. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, I don't feel like, um, I feel like they're not charging people for a free event. The free event is outside. If you want to be involved in the black shit, that's where camp is at. And camp has an outdoor seating area. You can go on the inside. It's a total separate event than the outside shit that's going on. So I think the lady, um, and I'm not sure if Marceau, because we know how Marceau like to fast talk people or whatever. He may have wanted it to seem like that. But in essence, I don't think that they trying to scam people to come to a, a free event. The free event is outside doing what they're doing they chose to go to a separate venue which is the camp and say hey we're gonna promote this here we're gonna get this money outside of what the university and the alumni generally have so maybe it's more exclusive like if it's a parade and we all outside chilling on main street you could still go into the camp which is a separate venue and chill in this secluded area with this group of people with these djs and then you can see uncle luke perform is it Tisha and Marceau event? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Um, so Tisha and Marceau are special guests. So it's been my neighbors are so loud. Anyway, so they are the special guests at the event. The event is being promoted by, uh, what's his name? His name on Instagram is I doubt, in doubt blame Zoe. His name is in doubt blame Zoe. If you go to the AAMU homecoming um, page on all of the black flyers, he's tagged on it. He's throwing this event. On his first post about the event, it was like Uncle Lucas calling. He was at Black Cigar Lounge because you see the rug. And the special guest is Tisha and Marceau. Do I think that Tisha and Marceau were able to plan and execute this event properly? Hell to the motherfucking no. <laughs> Only because I just feel like they don't have a business sense. They've shown us that they don't, you know, really know how to conduct great business or whatever. And this just based off of what they didn't so shown us on the show. The males, the stormy complaining about the hundred dollar deposit. Even your sister-in-law Tisha said that y'all don't do good business and she didn't want y'all to help build on her restaurant. So <laughs> don't blame me ho don't blame me teabaggers <laughs> exactly i'm just reporting what the fuck was going on so after i get into this dude the um so after i start looking into the promoter guy that they always um tag and his name i am like i said it was like i don't blame so in doubt blame so this guy in doubt blame so <laughs> this man didn't been having events in huntsville since before the show even started since before the show even started this man then promoted um the hamptons in huntsville which is an all-white party who they've been having for years and years and years they've had sexy red come down there they've had delicious hostess um hunt 
uh, what the Hamptons and Huntsville male attended one of these Hampton and Huntsville parties back in 2017. I seen a picture of her and her little good Judy's um, in all white. So he's a part of an entertainment group that has been throwing parties and hosting mad events outside of the Black Meek. He's he's hosting the after party for Black Meek at another club. I think the club was called Entice or something. So this is what it's giving me. It's given that this guy, this promoter, he does this all the time. This is his forte. He ain't new to this. He true to this. He done been with tons of celebrities doing this, cashed out, everybody you can think of. I feel like he he was like, hey, I can get Uncle Luke because he's well connected with tons of rappers and celebrities. Like I said, he's not new to this. He's true to this. He reached out to Uncle Luke, made the connect, felt like, okay, Uncle Luke, we could do Freak Nick. We got black. And reached out to Marceau and Tisha like, hey, y'all want to either go in with me on this or do y'all want to be the special guest and host it? Because it only makes good business sense. I used to throw parties. I used to be a promoter. <laughs> I used to do everything, right? Anyway, I used to be a, a party promoter or whatever. So to me, that's just good business sense because Marceau and Tisha are local celebrities. They got black. He can get Luke. Let's just do it. And Marceau and Tisha can be the face and do what they've been doing, promoting it, getting a lot of people out of town, people to come, yada, yada, yada. Just like he did with Delicious, Delicious hosted it, uh, hosted one of his events before, uh, Toya Wright, Lil Wayne, ex, uh, you know, baby mama or whatever. So to me, that's what it's giving. It's giving, it's not Marceau and Tisha's event. It's giving, it's this guy's event in Doubt Blame Zoe. And he decided to collaborate with Marceau. And when I say collaborate, I'm giving him a little credit to say that y'all collaborated with him or he just didn't throw on the whole event, decided to make y'all special guests and gave y'all a little money to promote it for him. That's why Luke didn't know who the fuck Marceau was. <laughs> That's why Luke didn't know who the fuck Marceau was and what the fuck going on because he probably ain't never been dealing with him. And on the flyers, if you need a section or if you need a section at the Black Nick, you go call him, the guy I'm telling y'all about. So it's giving, he just decided to, hey, Black be popping, y'all local celebrities. I'm always doing this. I'm going to reach out to my celebrity friends, get this whole thing going, which is probably why it's not at Black, <laughs> because dude probably got connections with other club owners and venues and he know what he's doing. So, child, at this point, I'm y'all just got chosen. I don't think this they whole event by themselves. They may have had some input. They probably gonna get a little cut, yada yada yada. But it's not like, hey, this. Is, I don't think the way it's presented is like, you know. I feel like they be putting twenty on ten because they try to portray to be more than what they are. <laughs> That's what it's kind of giving to me because I'm sure if Mel said if Mel was down there at homecoming, we don't know if Mel at homecoming, but I'm sure if he could have got Melody, it would have been called the Mellow Homecoming, the Mellow Fest at AMU Homecoming. I, <laughs> I promise you, because Mel just hold way more star power than they do or whatever. So it's giving, you know what I'm saying? Y'all took, y'all got an opportunity presented to y'all. Y'all took him up on the opportunity. You not the masterminds behind this. Allegedly, this is just all my opinion, y'all. Allegedly, this is what I think. <laughs> I don't think that they're scamming. I don't think that they scamming. I don't think that they're charging people for a free event. I think that's um, I think that's a false narrative. I think that they're just having a separate party at the same at the same time and place that the you know that the that the AAMU alumni are having this big event which is smart business-wise because it's going to be a whole bunch of people there anyway. Why not charge them to come to the camp? You know what I'm saying? See Uncle Luke. Then we could use Tisha and Marceau and them and play off their celebrity and get them to promote it. Like I said, the dude, the dude ain't new to this. Yeah, now it looks like he's been having successful events since before Love and Marriage Huntsville even started. Tons of celebrities. So I don't know. That's just my two cents. Anyway, so tell me what y'all thought about it. If y'all down there black, sit DM me. Y'all know um, I'll put my TikTok and my um, Instagram in the comments or whatever. Tell me how the black meat going. What's the tea? Do y'all think Orion and Martell go pop out at the black meat? We know Miss Wanda going to be there with her freeze curls and her French roll. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so tell me what y'all... Um, 
what y'all think about them saying they scamming um would you pay five hundred dollars or even up to two thousand dollars to go chill it you know what i'm saying black with uncle luke them i don't know anyway so what else is going on nothing really going on in um huntsville outside of that stormy was up there having her launch party for uh, her signature perfume did anybody ever buy the signature perfume friend did you buy the signature perfume if you bought the signature perfume drop down in the comments tell us how long it took for you to get it the uh packaging how was the packaging and most importantly how do it smell in the comments uh stormy line what what do we call the storm what are stormy fans called the the body glazers the glazers glazers <laughs> correct me if you a stormy fan correct me if i'm wrong what's your name are y'all the glazers i don't know teabaggers tell me what stormy fans are called since y'all cool <laughs> so tell me if y'all bought her perfume i know this destiny ass wasn't her i guess she ain't got the coin yeah i guess if stormy ain't paying for her flights or something you know she ain't got the coin i want this destiny gonna be at black nick you know she been kissing uh teaching them ass for the last few weeks or whatever so i wonder if she gonna be at black tonight or at the black nick and is lance gonna be there with you because allegedly Lance was your man, but Lance left you to get back with his ex wife. So what's see, boo? I wonder they gonna film. Y'all think they gonna film this black Nick? I'm assuming they should. It's a big part of Huntsville. <laughs> and these people are alumni. You know, this is their quote unquote event. And maybe if they are filming, that's another reason why the dude decided, hey, maybe I should get them so they can film one of my motherfucking events. Seems like a smart guy to me. Exactly. Tell him I i should have added him on instagram <laughs> he was cute too girl anyway so that's pretty much all i got with the huntsville stuff y'all know it's coming back soon um what do y'all want to see in a new upcoming season i don't redrop the trailer of what was going on or whatever so basically we see nail get into it with mel mel was like hey you being a fake bitch on these interviews we see stormy get into it with mel and we know about the blogger coming to her thing mel was like bitch i ain't admitting to shit I wonder did Mel check the dog shit out of her and that's why she decided to leave the show because we know after this occurred that's when Stormy started saying how she wasn't coming back on the show and she was done with the show I don't know we see Destiny complaining about um Nell asking Sonny about them having kids so Destiny gonna still be in our feelings when she allegedly got a whole new man about Moses and Sonny maybe having a baby which who gets the last laugh because Sonny if you is pregnant and your man is in jail you you know what I'm saying you gonna have a, your first baby and your man gonna be locked up oh I don't want I don't want that for you I don't want that for nobody <laughs> I really don't that's why I ain't having shit about these niggas but I digress <laughs> <laughs> then they gonna talk about Maurice and his DUI. Child, speaking of that, we girl, I know Maurice, uh, Martin Luther King looking ass gonna be down there in black tonight. Kimmy, you better hold on tight to your man, son, your man boy. You better babysit him properly because I better not wake up tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the morning and they talking about Maurice got another DUI. I ain't got the bandwidth, I got other shit to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we gonna talk about the shows that i uh the love after lockup and all that other shit so <laughs> i ain't got time to deal with you maurice oh we get on my nerves anyway so we know we gonna talk about that kimmy gonna try to help him and he gonna be like i don't know if you can help me kimmy if you don't lead you already raised Jalen. for the life of me i cannot understand why kimmy decided after she raised her son got him through college to take on another son in Maurice and raise Monster. We know that she low-key didn't even want to raise Monster. Remember when he was trying to get Monster to live there and Monster came there? Kimmy was frustrated and Kimmy didn't want to do that at first. Any lady that didn't raise their kids don't want to raise nobody else's kids. Like, I'm done, bitch. I'm done. Kimmy, you supposed to be living the, the best life of your life. You should have went and got a real man, in my opinion. And then you wouldn't have had to raise Monster partially, deal with Kiowa, and now you raising Maurice. You got to tell this man not to try to fuck on you when you going through radiation. Girl, and now you got to deal with his drinking problem now, cheating allegations. <laughs> Kimmy, you too smart for that. And they said allegedly she helped him pay, through, pay for law school. I don't know. Kimmy the one with the coin. <laughs> <laughs> she was the nurse making money. <laughs> she the one in real estate. Kimmy is still the one making the coin. 
I get because all lawyers not paid like that. It depends on what type of law you practice and how, how big of clientele you got. And he's in private practice. I don't know. I digress. Then we're going to see the Trish and the Ken and the Marquez. So Trish and Ken was at Black last night. They was looking cute. So I'm assuming, I don't know. Do y'all think Trish and Ken going to pop out at Black Neat? Because they was at Black Cigar Lounge last night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ken posted on his uh, Facebook of uh, them at Black uh at Black last night with a little black and black and white on. So I guess Marquez ain't nowhere to be found. Marquez down in Atlanta. <laughs> doing his own promotion shit or whatever and then towards the end of course we get marceau saying he don't trust shit about what martel talking about martel saying we used to fuck hoes together and she used to fuck my boy mind you i noticed on the trailer y'all so remember on the original trailer that they dropped when it um when the season when the first half ended you hear Marce, 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 uh, Marceau, when Marceau said he don't, um, he don't respect Martel, Martel then starts going in on Martel, on Marceau and saying we fucked hoes together. I'm paraphrasing. Then Marceau starts denying it. And then that's when Martel was like, uh, yeah. And she used to fuck my boy talking about Tisha in the, in the re in the new trailer that they just dropped the other day. They dropped it, I think, the day after they told us when uh, they was going to return on November the 2nd. They took out the part. <laughs> they took out the part that Martel said that him and Marceau used to fuck girls together. They took that part out of it. It was in the original trailer, but they took it out of the new trailer. And the only part you hear is Marceau saying he ain't got no respect for Martel. And then it cuts to the part where Martel was talking about how Tisha used to fuck one of his boys. I wonder are they going to edit that out the episode? And if they do, because you know Carlos is always protecting Marceau. Girl, no. I don't know. So tell me what y'all think. <laughs> tell me what y'all want to see on a new episode, what y'all don't. I noticed Neil and um Neil and uh Chris did they ain't popped out this weekend for homecoming weekend. I wonder if they gonna pop out or what the hell they doing exactly. They still down in Mississippi. Chris, where you at, baby? <laughs> Chris, where are you in LA? Exactly. Anyway, so tell me what y'all think about all of the shit that's going down in Huntsville. Ariane and Martel as outside. Do y'all think that's his her what his way of claiming her, or she just wanted to take a picture and post it? This bitch ain't posting in months, but she was so happy to post her and Martel. Meanwhile, he ain't post your dirty dog ass. Tell me what y'all think about the black Nick, black Nick shit. Do y'all think Mar uh, so in teaching them out here trying to scam people? Do y'all think that's their real event or they just putting 20 on 10 trying to act like it's their event? Anyway, so that's all I got to say, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. I do want to tell y'all about that, about Friday. So Friday, I'm going out with my friend, right? This motherfucker tells me in the beginning, yeah, we're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to this one little spot my friend having a party. And then we're going to go to the after hours. <laughs> I was thinking, I said, okay, if I make it. Like, I'm a girl. I'm I'm older. I drink I drink at dinner. I can get lit at dinner and come home and enjoy myself and dance around the house listening to some Mary J. Bys or some shit. Or if I want to get crunk, I can listen to some Glorilla, Megan, twerk it out and pass out. That's <laughs> That's my tea. Girl, so I was like, whatever. You know, I didn't did my hair. I got a cute little new outfit or whatever. If y'all seen my little short, the outfit that I got is, um, as a matter of fact, I, I saw it on Amazon before. I decided to buy it because Stormy had on the outfit. If you go look on Stormy page, Stormy had on the outfit like that. Actually, she, she, yeah. So I was like, okay, this, this outfit is really cute in person. So then I Googled the outfit. I, you know, I put it in Instagram and stuff. And I seen all of the girls with the outfit on. So I was like, okay, so this is a cute outfit. So I decided to get it. I got it in blue. I got it in chocolate. And I got it in black. <laughs> Go get it, y'all. It's only $40. It gives real satin vibes. As y'all can see, I love the satiny, you know, softy type of clothes. I actually got these little crop top shirts. I got this in blue, red, light pink. Um, I got like an orange, like fall, autumn color or whatever. Y'all probably didn't see them because I love wearing them. Anyway um so listen so we go to dinner y'all we go to this little trendy spot for dinner um it's black owned um it's real it's called miami vibes i can tell y'all 
<laughs> it's in it's in Dallas. It's in Plano. It's called Miami Vibes. It's like a new restaurant. It gives Miami vibes, kicking it, DJ, black owned drink specials. You know, everybody getting a little cute and a little sassy. Mind you, and then his friend showed up to, you know, towards the end of dinner or whatever, so we could keep the party going. I wanted to stay there. I could have stayed there. The food was really, really great. If y'all if y'all in the Dallas area, make sure y'all go check out Miami Vibes. The vibes was everything. The food was great. The DJ was great. Everybody was up dancing, vibing, getting they, you know, whatever. I had my little salmon and macaroni and cheese. I was, I was here for all of the shenanigans. So I was like, we should just stay here and chill. He was like, no, I want to, you know, we going to this other place. The other place plays primary Afro beats. Mind you, I don't mind no Afro beats, but I feel like my only problem is I hate when I'm going out with a man and they always want to do some shit that they want to do. <laughs> and this has happened multiple times before. You know what I'm saying? It's always a place you want to go, the shit that you want to do. And then you always put me up in a damn section <laughs> with your friends. Have y'all ever been to the clubs and the bars and shit? where which you you know i'm a little bougetto or whatever i don't really like going out if we ain't got no table or no section i'm not a standing girly <laughs> i'm not waiting in line and if you ain't paying for my valet i ain't going <laughs> flat the fuck out unless i'm on some hood shit with some hood girls and that's once a year or some shit like that so child so we i'm like whatever like i'll just go i'm already groovy and once again so i go to the bar and he see me talking to this other guy i know right Mind you, it wasn't nothing too overly flirty. It wasn't nothing like that or whatever. But I get back and I'm just standing by the table, like, you know, trying a little vibe. Da, da, da. He like, oh, get like get inside of the booth and sit down. And it's like me and two other girls. And then like all of them standing around the table and drinking and stuff. Mind you, that's like the regular forte. I know that's how black dudes and African dudes be getting down. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you're not finna have me sitting kobe up in this motherfucking thing and you surrounding the table. I can't see none of the men, the men. Can't see it. it just was like, whatever. And it, my little buzz was like dying down because I wasn't really getting with the music. You know what I'm saying? So I just got up and he was off talking to his friends. They was taking pictures, you know, buying bottles, doing all of the things. That shit don't, that shit don't impress me. It don't amaze me. And it's not fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> like it is crazy because I've done that plenty of times, you know, and I'm used to hanging out and da 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 da. But it was just some like, yeah, no. I was, I just got up, went to the bathroom, end up leaving, and um, he caught me when I was waiting on my valet or whatever to get my car. And he like, why you leaving? You always ruining the night. I had plans and da da. You had plans because you thought you was gonna get some coochie. <laughs> Those were your plans. <laughs> But I'm sorry, you ain't paying me no attention. You're not going to have me sitting up in no damn section all night with these girls. I don't know. The music is not even vibing the way I want it to vibe. I'm out. Bitch, I done worked all week. I don't give a fuck about this or you. I'm out. So then he was saying, oh, that was rude to just leave and not tell me. Tell me if y'all think, if y'all in a, if y'all at an event or at a gathering, do y'all think it's rude to leave and not tell nobody you leaving? Mind you, I drove, I always drive separately all the time because who knows when I might decide to get up and be out. Only reason is because I have a short temper. I have a short temper. <laughs> and if I say I want to leave, let me, leave. your best bet is to let me leave. <laughs> and that was the situation then. And he was like, oh, and that, 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 that was rude. Do y'all think that's rude? On one hand, I can't understand if you're with somebody and then you just up and leave. That's a problem. Mind you, I generally text them like, hey, I'm gone. Hey, I'm home. I, da, da, I'll text you once I left or once I'm at home to let you know I'm okay and I'm, I'm safe and you just not looking for me. Now, that is some rude shit because I'm the type of person I'll be looking for you. I'll be scared and I'll be weary. So I do always say, hey, I'm home. I had to leave. Hey, da, 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 da. So do y'all think that's, 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 that's like being rude? My whole thing is every time I tell somebody, cause I used to be like this. Every time I tell somebody I'm going to leave, they want to come and debate with me about why I shouldn't leave. And then I might end up having a, <laughs> I'm trying to avoid conflict. I'm trying to avoid going off on you. I don't want to explain myself. I don't want to cause a scene. I don't want to do none of that. Bitch, I'm gone. It was a great night. It's over. 
<laughs> and I feel like a lot of men be wanting to take you out to clubs and get you drunk and get you fucked up because they feel like at the end of the night she's gonna come home with me. And it's just like, no, I know my limit. I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grown. I'm not one of these girls in her early 20s that feel like, oh, because he even took me out and get, you know, but, oh, we didn't have fun. I might as well spend the night. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like you, but no. <laughs> if you like me today, you still gonna like me tomorrow, whether or not I come home with you or not. It's survival of the fittest. Anyway, y'all, that was a crazy night, but I still had fun. <laughs> I still enjoy myself exactly. So tell me what y'all think about everything that was going on. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, turn your notifications on. Depending on how my day go, I may go live right after Real Housewives of Potomac and we can review it. If not, you know, I'll talk about it tomorrow, child. I have watched Love After Lockup. Shout out to my girlies. Exactly. I do be listening to y'all. So I watch Love After Lockup. So we're going to talk about that, child, and just get into some other shit. Anyway, so I love y'all, friend. Y'all have a great Sunday. Go out and enjoy yourself and don't be letting nobody fuck up your vibes. Exactly. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day. Bye, boo.